What's up, y'all, and welcome back. Go for for rabbit in this bitch. Oh, no, no cabin in this bitch. Go fight me rabbit in this bitch. My gun go rabbit in this bitch. I've been up six weeks, shooting like no whiskey. Feel like a maverick in this bitch. Party don't tip me, so me that you can't keep far from average. The Expand Season 3, Episode 3. We're back with the Expand Season 3, Episode 3. Uh, before we start, let me just apologize to y'all that, that's been uh, subscribed to my channel. Uh, thank you for that as well. Um, that y'all have been giving me uh, advice on like how to get better as well. I've not been uh, myself at the moment. I've been like 50-50. My health levels is a bit still kind of iffy right now. But uh, I don't know if you guys noticed the swelling in my left eye. Hay fever has just been beating me up. And um, yeah, I've... I said I was gonna release something over the weekend, but health was just a problem for me. But um, yeah, I'm a back. I'm kinda officially back with uh, some more expands for you guys. Uh, we're on, ep on episode three. Uh, yeah. So if you guys do see me sneezing or scratching my eye or something, that's kind of why hay fever has just been a problem. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm still like uh. A few, uh, some of y'all said in the comments just keep myself hydrated and all that and uh, yeah that's what I'm doing at the moment um, got a bit of a, a sore throat well not that much of a sore throat but I'm just kind of 50-50 right now um, but yeah we're back with the Expand Season 3 as I promised I was going to release two episodes over the weekend but I was out of it I was my energy levels were too low and I couldn't release anything, but I am back this week for sure with some expanse for you guys. Still gonna do the double episode thing, hopefully by maybe, I know I keep saying like maybe I'm gonna do this and I don't do it, but hopefully maybe by Thursday or Friday I should release a third uh, upload because like I said, when I fall behind I like to do like back to backs um, of my uh, reactions. Because the two weeks back, I missed out on the the third episode of the Expanse, and last week, of obviously, it was the fourth episode of the Expanse, and of, of course, this week it's gonna be episode five. So uh, yeah, basically, we're gonna be bundling. Try, I'm gonna try and bundle up uh, all three episodes this within this week. Uh, you guys should see episode three today. Hopefully, by tomorrow or. What Wednesday you guys should see episode 4 as well by Thursday Friday maybe Saturday I don't know um, you should see episode 5 but yeah we're back with the expands and a lot happened in uh, episode 2 like we, we met a new character her name what was her name uh, Dr. Anna Val Valavadov did I say that right? Dr. Anna Volavadov? She seems like an interesting character. She's very political with, with the way she discusses certain topics. And she seems like she's going to be a thorn in Aaron Wright's uh, rule to power, really. And um, that's what I like. I like people that stands in Aaron, Wright, Aaron Wright's way. I like Aaron White Wright slightly for a few things that he does. He, he likes to do a lot of power plays. Like, when he's, like I said, when he's back against the walls, he likes to fight back. Like, he likes to... Uh, not be <laughs> in that in that situation even though he's dirty even though he did work for Jewel P. Mao, Jules P. Mao, uh he's reversed that role kinda now where Jules is working for him and not and not him him working for Jules if that makes sense so uh, yeah uh, Dr. Anna Volavadov I hope I'm saying her na name right and not butchering it <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, yeah, she, she she seems to she seems like she's gonna be a thorn in um, in my boy uh, Aaron Wright's way. Uh, although I would like to see Aaron Wright's end game, like just to, trying to see where he'll get eventually. I think Dr. Anna will will run some interference in there because like I said uh, Aaron Wright always tr finds a way around it like finds a way around he even found a way around Christian he he, he got her like stranded on um, on JP Mao's little ship 
and man was that a fight that that was a fight just to get off that ship and then they ended up getting chased by some missiles or something that Aaron Wright and the UNN sent after after uh, Christian because um he convinced them that that Christian is 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 working for a shadow government which is kind of what he was doing but she was kind of like you know running her own little secret op to see who's like against her and who's trying to assassinate her but she wasn't working for no shadow government that was all Aaron Wright so yeah he, he turned the tables on Christian and they ended up chasing her and Gunny um who got who got in a ship off like a what do you call it what do you call it? the little ships that that come with the major ship of uh uh man i can't come i can't think of the name now but yeah they um got off a ship and uh they were on the run from these missiles uh that Aaron Wright sent after them um because he's trying to like basically cover up his tracks basically at the moment so he knows that Christian kind of would Christian does have proof of her innocence but um he in his mind if he gets rid of her He's safe. He's he, he's fine, but yeah, it was a whole fight. In the end, um, uh, the what, what what's the new the new the Contorta? Yeah, the new ship's name, the Contorta, the Pinus Contorta. Um, they picked up on like a emergency emergency distress call from a uh, gunny saying that this is uh, she's a Martian in trouble and. Uh, Holden wasn't for it. Holden was like, nah, we've got our own mission. We're trying to help Prax find his daughter and all that. And, um, yeah, and, uh, Naomi and Alex was like, yo, so we just gonna ignore everybody else's calls and just focus on one mission. Uh, Alex and Naomi, they weren't for it. Um, at the moment, Amos, Amos, I don't know, Amos is kind of 50 50 at the moment, like, He's he, he's angry at Naomi for doing certain for for um for doing what she did with the whole proto molecule thing. So he's not really happy with Naomi at the moment, and then he's like all team Holden right now. But um yeah, he 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 told uh Prax basically it's up to him to make the decision because we, we are on a mission to find his daughter do we rescue these people that's making a distress call or do we just stay on the mission to go find his daughter uh, Prax was the tiebreaker in the end and of course yeah, Prax he, he has he has a good heart and he decided let's go after the, the distress call and eventually the crew and um, well Prax, Prax and them and everybody they all saved uh, Gunny and Christian from getting basically eliminated by Aaron Wright. Gunny and Christian has now boarded the Contorta. And yeah, episode 3, we're going to see how that interaction goes down. I've been waiting for like uh, uh, um, for Gunny and Christian to meet up with like the crew. I was mo more so hoping that Gunny would meet up with like Holden and them more than Christian. I thought Christian was always going to be just on Earth. But, yeah. Um, everybody like that I like at the moment is all together right now. They're all in space together uh, on a mission. I think at the, with Christian on board, they are going to try and find a way to get her back on Earth. I think Gunny is still going to be like her little bodyguard or something. But um, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, we're back with The Expanse episode 3, and with that, with that being said, let's get into this. This must feel like home to Gunny, being back on a Martian ship. Who to face the Martian flag on the bulkhead? I updated it. You think that's funny? Maybe not now. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's start everything off on the right foot, shall we? Sure. A Martian Marine with the Deputy Secretary of Earth on Julie Mao's ship, with the UN trying to kill them. Start with that. <laughs> I can't tell you it's classified. Oh, come on, we crippled the UNN gunship to I save your I didn't call you, I called the MCR. Can you just settle down now, darling, please? Call me darling again and you'll be saying that draw in sign language. She's gonna fit in just well with the crew. Hopefully she stays. We're going to Io. Right. Exactly. That's right. 
I own. That's what I mean. Oh Amos's team holding. Madam Avasrala has information that could help stop this war. You can't just drag her to Io in the midst ship of it. And leave. If they don't use the ship, then you should take it and go. Go to Tycho. Do what you have to do. Yeah, Naomi, you you don't get a say in this. Like, eventually she's gonna get a say, but at the moment I'm still withholding. Like, Naomi doesn't get a say in this right now. She still gotta win me back. It holds ten planet busters, each with twenty high yield nerd warheads. Our watchtower satellites are the only things that can penetrate their stealth tech, but it's far from perfect. This is the first time that we've been able to locate two of their platforms at once. So if we know where two of them are, we can predict where the rest of them most likely will be. How many platforms are out there? Intel says five. The confidence is high. If we can find the other three, then we can use the planetary rail guns to simultaneously destroy them all before launch. But when fighting in the outer planets is different than bringing it to our own doorstep. Mars isn't stupid. Every minute this war goes on costs us more lives. Every loss that we inflict on Mars pushes them closer to launch. If we do this, we save lives because it will end the war. Yeah, I'm still 50 50 with Aaron Wright. Like, the guy does make some valid points, but at the same time, he's all about saving himself. So he heard us. We're saved. Any survivors on the dropship ought to be considered prisoners and taken to the brig immediately. No one is to speak to them until I get there. So we just have to get our story straight. Uh, you can say that we're the only ones survived. Theo, relax. It's gonna be okay. Take a deep breath and close your eyes. It's about to choke him out or something, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. I kind of saw that coming. Sorry, you. I'm really sorry. So when someone tells you to relax, they gonna choke you out or something. Hey, you wanna see something cool? This this kid in the cool things. Are they using him or something? I bet May kind of reminds Jules of Julie. James Holden. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Chaos has a way of finding you. We're all victims of circumstance. That might be a good title for your memoirs. You're a hero. No. Miller and Julie were the heroes. Well, I agree. From the looks of Venus. Eris isn't finished with us yet. Maybe now would be a good time for you to tell me why you're here. With a Martian Marine and your own government trying to kill you. But I may have a way to end this conflict. Have you been watching the news? Diplomacy's over. I need to send a tight beam to Admiral Souther on the Agatha King. Any tight beam would give away our position, and we already took that risk rescuing you. We're not doing it again. This isn't just about the war. We need to contain the proto molecule. Make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. You think that's funny? Not at all. It's just that I've heard it before. From mm -hmm. who? Everyone. Including me. Facts. I'm nobody's savior. Or so you think, Holden. Elsa. Yes, sir. Mr. Ghazi, I'm Admiral Southern. This is Fleet Admiral Wynn. Well, you Navy boys sure know how to roll on the red carpet. Seems like the type would have been very cooperative. Now we're only getting used to it. Where's the officer, brother? She's dead. Jewel Pierre Mao's goons executed her. So she gets killed, but you still managed to escape. I think... Your boss is still alive. I think she's defecting to us. Well, maybe you should have called to ask her before your people blew up the Guanxi. Are you implying that UNN forces destroyed a civilian in the office? I'm not implying shit. It's a goddamn fact. Talk to Aaron Wright. He's the traitor. He's been protecting Jules Pierre Mao all along. He can tell you everything you want to know. Let's try it. 
Get some rest. You're gonna need your strength. Yeah, they need they need proof to show that Aaron Rice doing the dirty. That's why I'm saying he's very comfortable right now in the position he's at. Rail guns are targeted, warmed up, and ready. All we need is for you to give the order to fire. I have a sacred obligation to the people of this planet. 82% is not good enough. Stand down. They don't need it. Fred Johnson already has a sample. Yeah, exactly. How could you be so fucking stupid to give it to the OPA? Don't it wasn't us. Then. It was Naomi. I did. Eros proved that no one on this planet's safe anymore, and we need to end this because we don't know who or what our next enemy is. And if the thought of casualty scares you now, imagine another Eros, one that we can't even stop. If you end this war, you'll be remembered as the man who united humanity in the face of first contact. Oh, it's wraps. Too much showing off. Katoa's becoming a full hybrid now. Let's still talk fast. What really happened on that ship? Avastar made a secret deal to bring Jewel Pierre Mao in. In exchange for immunity, he was going to testify that he and Aaron Wright had been colluding to develop the protomolecule into a weapon and would turn over all data to the UN instead of the Martians. One away, track is good. One is away. Four is away. Uh, showing red, failure to watch. What's happening? I I'm just checking, sir. Check what the fuck is going on? Congratulations, sir. Well done. These weapons are powerful. Confirmed launch from Target 5. They got one off before we hit them. Oof. Watching up and standing down earlier, sir. Watchtowers have detected no other launches. Aaron Wright is a smart tactic. He's very tactical with these moves. He knew exactly this is what would happen. Which is why he eats. He wormed his way into his ear in the first place. So now he knows, because of that end result of South America being lost, he won't hesitate next time. Sir, stop what you're doing to the children. Sir, these experiments have led to the only real success we've had in controlling the protomolecule. I wanted that to be true. I was grasping at straws. We are on the verge of so much more. We're torturing children. If only he hadn't wavered. But it's good that you're here, though. He's going to need you now more than ever. That was The Expanse Season 3, Episode 3, y'all. Oh, man, what an interesting episode that was. Um, I was just going to say, uh, Aaron Wright and uh, and Anna as, as well, they're, they, they've they got like this, this, this interesting dynamic. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, she's like the angel on... on um, I can't, I can't remember the guy's name, <laughs> the guy who's making all the, the calls right now, the Secretary of Defense. Like, she's like the angel on his shoulder, while Aaron Wright is like the devil on his shoulder. And at the moment, the little devil's winning, like, with all the stuff that he's saying. Like, he's very manipulative, like, Aaron Wright is very, he's very smart with the things he says. Like, he was kind of sort of planning on, on sec the secretary of defense guy to be like 
hesitant about his call the first time round, so that when they do it the second time round and the collateral damage that came with it will will result in him not being as hesitant the 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 next time round. Next time it comes to like these rail gun gun shootings, like when it comes to making decisions during this war, he knows that he's gonna turn to Aaron Wright for answers now instead of uh, Doctor Vladov. I hope I'm saying her, her last name like uh, right, but um, yeah, um, he's gonna turn more to Aaron Wright now because Aaron Wright was making these decisions. Like if we do this and this, this uh, this will happen. But because he made his decision a bit too late, it ended up with the, it ended up in the result of South America being hit by the Martians. Um, yeah, the other subject I was going to talk about was May reminding Jules of Julie. And because of what happened... Sorry for that. Uh, because of what happened on... Uh, what, what was it? Well, because of what happened to Julie being infected by the proto-molecule in the first place, him losing his daughter to that... to basically the proto-molecule, um, I think it kind of hit Jules a little bit. And when he when he started talking to uh, when he started to get get to know the subjects basically for Strickland's little experiments, he started realizing maybe what he's doing is is not right. Maybe what Christian was trying to convince him of doing, like turning himself in, maybe what that was the right call. Uh, at least that's what I think. Uh, Jules is starting to realize because now he wants to stop the experiments with like the proto molecule being ran on kids. And like you said, it's torture and all that. But um, I think Strickland might might kill off Jules if it comes to that, because Strickland is all about his mission. He's 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 like um, he's he's moving like Aaron Wright right now. He wants to accomplish this. Like he's gonna probably talk to uh, Aaron Wright about this this whole proto molecule situation. They're gonna try and figure out a way to get Jules Piamal permanently out the picture because now that the man's showing that he has a heart and that he wants to stop the experiments on the kids like it I feel like Aaron Wright and Strickland is somehow gonna form a team to get rid of Jules PML in the end because Jules was a threat in like season one and two but now in season three he's having a turn a, ch a, a, a change of heart uh, so to speak and um uh yeah i think he's uh they're gonna try and eliminate him somehow i don't know we'll just have to wait and see uh yeah the proto molecule uh, speaking of the proto molecule like i totally forgot that even with like christian and and gunny being on the contorter right now uh there's still a, a little tiny bit of proto molecule on that ship and we haven't seen it what these in these last three episodes we haven't seen a hint of what's going on with that proto molecule right now i feel like that thing's growing within the ship and uh, i think it's gonna be a major problem when it comes to it so um it's gonna be interesting to see what what happens with the proto molecule because they're, they're trying to go to io right now talking about nuking io which i doubt they're gonna do because there's like children on there they're gonna try and obviously try and get may off of there if they're lucky enough to find may um but then they're gonna realize there's children on there and they're probably not gonna want to nuke um the contorta unless they try to rescue all the children get them on the contorta and uh then try to uh nuke io but uh yeah because would, Mi would Miller actually consider rescuing kids? I feel like Miller would kind of jump to that decision. Seeing what it, what, what's being done to them and all that. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, the proto-molecule still being on the ship is going to be a little bit of a problem as well. And this uh, this one ain't, ain't stabilized like the, like the ones on IO. Like Strickland's got his way of making it non-contagious. To people on IO, but um, at the moment with with this unstable one on the contorta, I think it's gonna cause major problems for holding in the crew. And if perhaps they land on IO, 
maybe that part of the molecule might actually find its way like through IO I don't know we, we we'll just have to see then we got uh, this I was gonna speak about the whole Venus situation I know it was not mentioned in this episode but like we got it's it's like proto molecule paradise on there and um I think was it in Guyan am I saying his, his name right in, in I can't say it. it's like in Guyan who's um was it him that mentioned it or was it Aaron Wright I think it was Aaron Wright that mentioned like if we don't want another Eero situation like if you think about it if the proto molecule gains control over Venus we're gonna have a way bigger problem than what we had on Eros yes we had Eros heading towards Earth at rapid speed because the mole molecule was controlling it at that time but just think if a molecule takes over a planet like a hundred times 300 times bigger than Eros and it steers it towards Earth again or something but that was Julie and if Julie, if Julie is still somehow alive or something, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, if she, the proto molecule like gains control of it and steers it towards any planet, basically, you're in for a rough ride. It's gonna be like major destruction if Venus collides with any other planet, basically. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. But uh, yeah, with um. What's Nick Tarabee's character's name? <laughs> I can never think of his name. Like the spy, the spy for um, uh, for Christian. Like it's, I just, I just had a feeling he was gonna choke out the 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 guard guy, Vio or whatever whatever his name was. Like as soon as he told him, like relax, calm down, we're gonna be fine. He had to choke him out because he knew. If he's if they interrogated him, he was gonna spill all the beans. So yeah, I kind of agree with him having to do what he did. So uh, all the answers lie with him. And um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see in uh, episode episode four what goes down. Um, yeah, we got a Christian and Naomi situation at the moment as well. And even even Christian had the same reaction when she found out. When she found out Fred Johnson had the had the proto molecule, and like she was like, "Are you guys out of your mind for doing that?" Like we all had that reaction. Amos had that reaction. Holden had that reaction. Alex had that reaction when 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 we found out Naomi did what she did. So yeah, it's 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 gonna be interesting to see this relationship between Naomi and Christian because Christian. She she's all about like her uh, political side. Like um, she knows which powers deserve which which powers at play deserve the proto molecule, so to speak, and which don't. And uh, at the moment, it's, it sounds like she's withholding in them for like destroying it and not having a hold of it. So uh, yeah, we got Earth, Mars, and the Belters who've got the proto molecule. And like I said. If you are gonna give it to the Belters, Anderson Doors is still the better option for me. Because Doors is more for his people than Fred Johnson is. Fred Johnson is more of a power player than a people uh, person. He's he's considering the bigger picture more than the the people of the Belt. If if that makes sense, that's that's how I feel. Anderson Doors is more for the people of the Belt than Fred Johnson is. But uh, we haven't seen that man, both those men, in in for a couple of episodes now. Maybe just two episodes or something, or just one episode. I don't know. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. This was episode season three of episode three, and yeah, hit that like button, and we are out. Bash man.